fair use, fair use, fair use. First, I want to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, Elder Bishop, the Great Millstone, who rule well, peace and blessings to you, fellow brothers, pushing this word in truth and sincerity. It's your brother Chanak coming back with another lesson through the Spirit and power, Yahweh. Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Racha, Kodash. Shalom, Shalom to the believers that believe on the names of Yahweh and Yahushai, the 144,000, as well as the rest of the elect. Okay, I have this video here. This is from uh, the Young Turks, Proud Boys. If Trump loses the election, there will be riots. I guarantee it. Okay, that's a quote taken from. Uh, this video i'm gonna play some of this video lord's will the video uh you know doesn't get struck you know some sensitive uh things are said within this video i'm not gonna play the whole video you can play it uh you see the title there i'm a lord's will I'm put the title in the description box i was watching this last night and uh pretty much you know uh you have a a, a good group of americans that uh you know that are about that action you know what I'm saying? They're they're ready to take back their country, right? Uh, they're ready to you know get things back in order. You know they're ready to you know, um, you know comply with the Constitution. And you know pretty much, they're ready for America to be great again. You know uh, make America uh, great again. Was well, that a slogan that Trump did not come up with? It's just a uh, recycled uh, political rhetoric to galvanize the people to, you know, play on their emotions. And that's pretty much what Trump, he's a character. He's, he's all, he's part of the agenda. He's not someone that's fighting against the agenda. He's part of that uh, left-right paradigm. Okay. And the, the wicked elite, they put Biden in there to pretty much stink up the place so bad that the only option is Trump. A lot of Trump's talking points are are now, uh, you know, being labeled as not, uh, uh, what, what's the word, uh, crazy or extreme. They're being labeled as, yeah, we need to do this. Look, look how bad our country has gotten. So let's play a little bit of this. Could be this will probably be short. I'll probably hit you with one scripture. We'll just see, maybe two. Let's play a little bit of this. And a lot of this is uh set up. The sentiment is there. There is a lot of Americans, mainly Edomites. But Jake too. Jake is calling Uncle Trump. There are a lot of people that do have this sentiment, but you we also have to understand the, the wiles of the devil. He's going to set up individuals to uh, pretty much, you know, uh, uh, cause mischief, you know, feds, if you will, agents. And this guy, this guy uh, that's, that's going to speak might be very well an agent. And they allow, they allow certain talking points to come out too. Okay. They're allowing, they're allowing certain talking points to come out so then they can use that as a means to uh, persecute and demonize and then pretty much stop that fragment of speech from going out. So let's play a little bit of this. And I sped it up. What is it that excites you about Donald Trump? You know, honestly, it's just because we really don't have another candidate that's better. None at all. He's done more for this country than any other president has. And in, and in my opinion, he looks he looks like he works for an, intelli an intelligence agency. Just his gait, the way that he, you know, you could tell a cop, right? You could tell how, you know, um, how they feel. But they could love, they also, those cops and stuff, those fed, they love Trump as well. Okay. But he can be very well a guy that's set up. A lot, a lot of times that's the case. In terms of what, can you can you uh, be specific? He didn't give us get us involved in bull wars that we don't belong in. We don't belong over there. 
We need everybody we got home. What do you think he should do if he's president again about Israel and Palestine? He's going to pull everybody out. We don't belong over there. It's not our problem. But we need to worry more about what's going on here than over there. Well, we really don't have soldiers. Israel's fighting this against, uh, against we Hamas. We need to stop giving them money, too. We need to stop giving Ukraine money. They're a bunch of Nazis over there. If you guys even knew the real story about what's going on over there, it's sickening. Do you think that Biden has made it worse? And these things the are all true, right? They're, they're all true. He saw us allowing these talker points to come out and gain traction. Um, but at the same time, it's impossible for America just to pull troops from these areas because the reason why you have dollar fifty coffee, two dollar hamburgers, cheap gas, cheap energy, I mean prices are going up now, but there was a time in which you were able to enjoy all these luxury luxuries of being the uh, the hegemonic power is because you were occupying these other nations and basically uh, having first dibs on their resources. This is the reason why America is in all these other countries because they're taking resources and now you're able to have, you know, get your iPhone, you're able to get your MacBook, you're, you're able to live relatively free, you're able to travel, is because America had their America has their hands in all these other nations taking their resources. That's what it's about. So it's impossible for you just to pull troops and and, and say, you know what, everybody, you know, uh, uh let's bygones be bygones. And oh, you know another scripture said I me. Mean, let me let me hit that. Let bygones be bygones, you know, um what is that? That's uh Isaiah thirty three, right? Right, yeah. Let bygones be bygones. Let's pull our troops. We need to worry about the homeland. We need to worry about America. We're being invaded by the border. We need to leave these people alone. We need to stop funding these wars. Now, nah, there, there's there's a, a lot more that goes into it. You just can't stop funding. America just can't stop funding the wars. They will lose their hegemonic power. They will lose their global dominance. Okay, people would go ahead and drop your American dollar. That means you're going into hyperinflation. It was, it's going to be a lot worse, okay, uh, here in America than if America kept doing what they're doing. But it's all going to lead to one thing. It's all going to lead to Third World War regardless. So you have the talking point of let's leave these countries. Let, let's, let's stop funding these wars. Okay, but where, you know, where was this strong sentiment 20 years ago 10, 10 years ago okay it's now it's just it's coming to bite you in the ass uh isaiah 33 1 woe to thee that spoilers right america as a as a, a, a global power they, they got their power by going and spoiling nations you spoil the inhabitants of america which are the north american indians the so-called north american indians which you can include the tribe of Reuben. So you got Gad and Reuben, uh, Yashashkar as well on, on the western part of America, southwestern part of America. Okay, even going up into, uh, what is that, uh, Oregon, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Northern California, Oregon, pretty much the Pacific uh, Northwest as well. New Mexico, okay, uh, uh, Nevada, Arizona. Texas. Okay, you have the tribes here. So he spoiled the tribes. This is why you were able to, the Edomite was able to live comfortable. Send your kids to college. Right? Uh, you know, drive that big SUV. Especially after World War II, in which America became the world reserve currency. So you've been living good from the world reserve currency. And now, now you want to come back. You want all the troops to come back. You want to get out of everybody's business. Nah, 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 nah. Or when you start to do that, let's continue. And when now was not spoiled, right? Nobody did anything to you. And dealt and dealt dealt treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee, right? You went around the world raping, robbing, and murdering. That's what the Edomite has done. This is a fact. You can't you can't refute this fact. That's that's what and it was it was all biblical. It's all prophetic that he did this. 
when thou shalt cease to pull spoils so now you want to pull troops yeah trump he got us out of afghanistan so what is what what happened in afghanistan afghanistan the taliban came in and they took control they start setting their country back in order and and and, and what uh these other like russia start russia iran start militarizing and, and arming them and what what do they have all in common they want you now they want they want to come down and destroy you the, uh, the america okay and when thou shall cease to spoil so you want to stop you want to get out of people's business you want to pull troops you want to help the american people instead of funding israel instead of funding these different nations thou shall be spoiled so now you're going to be spoiled right and 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 you don't and it doesn't, it doesn't feel good to the edomite and when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously they sh they shall deal treacherously with thee so now these nations are sending their uh the worst to, to invade america military aged men sending cr criminals okay all right uh sending a uh, fentanyl right help hel helping the fall of america all right but this is just this is just punishment this is just a uh, righteous payback israel and palestine he has made absolutely everything around the world worse not just our country around the entire world is there anything that donald trump could do now to lose your support for president absolutely not i mean what if he is convicted of these crimes if he's convicted of these crimes then he's convicted but that doesn't bother you though it does not bother me at all no what about what he said the other day about nato absolutely uh, you agree that, he, that we should support Putin if he goes into another NATO country? Absolutely. If they don't pay, we don't back them up. And even, like, support Putin who's going in and invading? Absolutely. But why support Putin and not support Ukraine and not support Israel or, or Palestine? Because now? Putin's real to everybody's face. He's not a bull like half these other government officials around the world. These elite guys that run everything and have all of our government officials as a puppet, you know, puppets. That's what they all are. And supporting the Russian president is something that has not been American tradition, to say the least. To do that seems extreme to a lot of people. Why does it not to you? To me... When you saw Trump and president, Korea back down, Russia back down, everybody back down. There was peace everywhere. The second Biden got into office, war was talked about everywhere. Now we're at a point where they're talking about World War III. Now we got people coming in. We have actual terrorists. The, Edomite, the Edomites are very, um, they're actually afraid. They're, they're really afraid. If you can only be at the, the, the dinner table uh, amongst these Edomites, from the lowest level Edomite to, you know, the more elitist, you know, upper middle, upper middle class, you know, they, you know, probably have ranches and, you know, they, they got, you know, 50 M's in the bank. You know, they, they hold some type of stake. They have some type of, you know, uh, you know, some, some type of, uh, uh, what, what's the word? What's the word? G glory. They have, you know, I, I, the words escaping me. They have some type of status. Excuse me. They have some type of status in this world. You know, they're doing really, really good. Okay. They're they're afraid. And the only one that's speaking, you know, their language is Donald Trump, which he was set up to do that. This is all this is all set up. Okay, and individuals like this are allowed to speak. And they will continue to be allowed to speak to basically uh categorize you. All right, so they can come down and they can take down these certain talking points. And he's going to, he's going to actually, he's going to speak to that. And through our border, into our country, right in front of Biden's face. And he's doing nothing about it. He can bring all of his troops over here all he wants, because that's what they are. All these immigrants coming in through the border, all the men, they're all military. It's been noted and documented. He's bringing people over here to start and get votes, to lock up every patriot, to make it so that we can't even organize as a group anymore. What is your group? Because I see the D for Detroit Tigers out there. What? We're proud boys. We don't hide from anywhere. Anybody. We're out here. We have no reason to hide. But the second they decide they want to try and pass this bill, they're taking a direct shot at the Constitution when they do that. And when they do that, they're doing that to every American, including the police, National Guard, everybody. You don't want to take on your own country. We're at that tipping point right now between the U.S. citizens and our government where they're trying a very thin line. And a lot of people. A lot of people. People that are way bigger than anybody else that is out here right now, including us. Where is that happening? Like, where for people who aren't aware of that, where where, where would they feel it or know it? Oh, they're not going to feel it. They won't feel it until it actually happens. When the government decides they want to cross that line, 
to find out. And, and you think it's close? Depends on how this election goes. He, 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 he's ready, man. You got a group of Edomites that are that are locked and loaded. They're just they're just waiting for that that moment. You see what I'm saying? That call. And you have the powers to be to understand that. And instead of just allowing it to happen and stopping it, they want to be at the forefront of the movement and destroy from within. So the sentiment, the emotions are there. The people want to to do it. But E is going to give them false hope, a false leader, you know, so they can follow and then ultimately come down upon them and, and, and quell that resistance. He, he did the same thing with the, the Black Panthers. There, there was a sentiment of anger from the so-called black community. Uh, there, there was injustices being done to them. They did feel a certain type of way. It, they, they were around, uh, about to, you know, things kind of got out of hand, but what do you do? You control it from within. You set, you set up a puppet leader. You fund them. You push them. You get people to follow them. Okay, a Judas goat. Same, it's the same. It's the same tactics. We are not ignorant of same devices, and they're going to try to do this with the the Israelite thing as well. You got individuals like Vocab Malone and others that actually study the different Israelite uh, groups, the camps. Okay, and you, then you got you got spies and agents within the camps. Okay, whether they're going to be used as an agent provocateur to be able to blame the ministry. Okay, or, or come up uh, and, and, and on the stand and, and false false witnesses. Remember, remember Yahweh Shah, they they uh, they have false witnesses to condemn our Lord. So it, it's the same thing. It's, it, it, no, there's nothing new under the sun. So we we're not ignorant of these things. Okay, so when these things come, we we you know we can be comforted comforted in the scriptures. Okay, to know that the Most High spoke of these things before times. Donald Trump were to lose. And if you were to lose again, what would that mean? This country would go into complete shit. I mean, in predictive analysis, like predictive analysis, there's going to be a lot of riots everywhere again. I mean, you've got and then and then you have this journalist, which you know he's probably you know it's all uh, intelligent agency written all over. He's asking all the right questions. What what if? Yeah. What if you know they? That's what they try to yeah. What if this happens? What what do you what are you going to do? What do you think? You know. To pretty much uh, entrap you, incriminate you. But even Joe Biden supporters turning their backs on him. If the election result is the same as last time and Joe Biden wins again and Donald Trump loses, your predictive analysis is that there will be riots once again. And yes, yes, there will be. I guarantee it. And what would that mean for the country? That would mean everybody starting to see through the government's bullshit. Maybe we can all finally get together instead of being divided and let them know that this is our country, not theirs. Do you think that Donald Trump was more of a uniter or a divider or not? He was a uniter, 100%. He's yeah, he had not, he united um, a group of Edomites that have that you know that uh, that mindset. You know, this is our country. You know, the hell with in integration. We we're, we're the best. You know, to hell with these immigrants. To hell with these 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 niggas. You know, good white men. Right? So called. <laughs> He's gonna pardon all those who are convicted of felonies in January sixth. And I don't wanna really do um the whole so called uh Inero says. I don't really wanna go less. People that incited all this and got people shot was our own feds, the FBI, CIA, the government plants. That's what they are. I've been informed See? of the new world See? world order movement since I was a kid. So this is something that I have always known was coming. You see how they put that in there? Because I, I skipped that part. You can watch on your own. I didn't really want to go into that because they talk about Ineto Seis, um, which you see down here. Um, but he said pretty much there were feds, intelligence agencies that incited that and invoked that. The, the sentiment was there. They understand the sentiment, but they want to be they want to control it from within. It's, it's, all, it's, it's pretty much a controlled demolition. Like, for example, this economy, the dollar. They know the dollar, fiat, 
fiat currency crashes eventually, but they want to be able to control the crash. So they want to control it from within. So he said, hey, the feds, they basically set that up. Our own government set that up. And then he brought in the so-called Norvos Ordum Seclurum. With that, why is that? All right, let's bring out the scripture. Let's go to Mark. We could also go to uh, Isaiah 19 to the Egyptian shall fight against the Egyptian. Trump brought people together, but he only brought one part of America together. The other part of America, they're going to, you know, it's, it's all set up. They, they're, they're, they're putting fuel on the fire. Okay. These, uh, these media companies wouldn't, why, why can't America, why can't America get together? Why can't they stand united? All right. Because this is the divided States of America. The so-called Democrats against the Republicans. And that's being used, all right, that's being used to bring in this B system. Okay, it's, it's called divide and conquer. That's a tactic. Okay, you want to divide your enemy. Because just think if all the Americans were together, you know, and they thought, they thought on one accord. Well, the scriptures say, can two walk together, at least they be agreed. So just think if all the all Americans were together, they had the same mindset. You know, they wouldn't be able to pull this this BS. And this is why it's, it's really hard to go into these other countries. You know, that are dominant by just one nation. Say one Arab nation, they have a, a sense of uh, nationality. Right. Uh, their nation. You go into Russia, that's why, you know, it's not that many dissenters in Russia. There's not that many. There is division, but everybody's on the same accord. They have some type of pride for their, for their country. But it's easy to do it here in America because you got, you got all type of nations in America. And then you allow free thought in America. M Mark 3 and 24. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, this is what our Lord said when the wicked scribes and Pharisees basically said he had devils he, he was he was satan this is wow this is how he was able to do those miracles let's start at 23 let's start at 22 and the scribes which came down from jerusalem said he has be be beelzebub and by the prince of the devils cast of he out devils right so he was they was basically saying he's satan this is why he's able to cast out you know, demons because he's the head of the demons. And he called them out. He called them unto him and said unto them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. So why would Satan uh, go, go and cast out demons on people and then get the people right? You know, so Yahweh Shai is like, how can, how can Satan cast out Satan? That, that doesn't make it make any sense. And if a house and this is all par, par, parables and if a house be divided, but it but it uh, but it's very relevant It's very. Uh, under, you know, you can you can understand what he was saying, because it's relevant in real world. Uh, you know, this analogy is, is, is very relevant in, in real world situations. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Right. If you got people in a house and they're, you know, fighting. Well, why do you think marriages don't uh, last? Because the house is divided. All right. Click, you know, we got clicks. The father is divided against the mother, the mother divided against the father, the father in law, you know, the mom, sister, brother, you know, everybody divide. How can that the house stand? What, what eventually happens? They split. So the same concept here, here in America, Trump can't bring, Trump is not going to bring everybody together. Okay. And when they see if they, if, if it doesn't go their way, there's going to be major, it's going to be major riots. Okay. From the left and the right there, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter. Okay. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but has an end, right? Because 
this is nothing but Satan. Es Esau is also Satan. He comes in a spirit and power and workings of Satan. He's the he's the children of Satan. So uh, him 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 fighting against the left or you know whatever it may be, or even Europe, don't, don't, that's Satan as well. Russia is Satan. America is known as the Great Satan. Okay, so really this is all Edomite on Edomite crime. And Jake is going to be involved as well, but that's just something I wanted to highlight. Okay, the Proud Boys, they ready for that action. A lot of it is going to be, you know, uh, orchestrated as well to blame groups just like, they, you know, they do things with the Israelites every once in a while. They'll have something, you know, some some bug out that they said was equated to certain, a Hebrew Israelite group. And, uh, and it doesn't have to be true. That's the thing. It doesn't have to be true. Um, but... Um, they can say it anyway and, you know, galvanize the people, play on the people's emotions, even though it's not true. So they can come down with that hard force. But none of these things are going to work. Um, the, Satan's kingdom is not going to stand. He spoke about the Norwell's Ordem's Eclorum. Okay, so these talking points are all over the Internet, even on YouTube. Much more off these other platforms which are just going going in and a lot of and a lot of people that are bringing up these things are Edomites. So I just wanted to highlight that until next time shall one put the left.